I'm saying, forgive me for that. Uh, but you truly got to hold on because I seen boys lose. I seen people give up. Like I said, we talked about this. They didn't hold up. They truly, they let go. You know, and it could have been their break point. It could have been their breakthrough point. And you, man, you know how terrible. And the bad thing about it, you don't know when your breakthrough is coming. That's why it's called a breakthrough. If you never yeah. hold on, you would, you would never get to that breakthrough. You know how sad it is just to see somebody let go. And that breakthrough could have been that next day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It could have been that next hour. Yeah, of course. It could have been that next minute. Mm. And you you decided to let go at that time. Man. So that's why me and Doug, we can't let go because it's, it's just so much bigger than just us. We let go of our family if we do that. Yo, what's going on, world? It's your boy, Doug. I'm virtually again with my co-host, K-Rock. What's going down? Y'all, welcome to another edition of the Bigger Dream Podcast. Ross, how you feeling, bro? What's going on with you? Man, I'm blessed. I'm always blessed, man. Just thankful to be alive, baby. You know what I'm saying? Better go into this new year. I'm ready. I'm pumped. I done have my slump, but I'm back on top. Time to get it, man. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling good, bro. You know, it ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? Not nah. doing it, you know, with you. I kind of miss you over there, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> it ain't but, the same. Uh, yeah, bro. For them, yeah, it really ain't, bro. But, uh, man, for the most part, you know, I'm feeling good, man. I'm always feeling good. Like I was telling you before, that job wearing me out. It's going <laughs> my grind down. But I got to I gotta figure out how to push through that mud, bro. I got to figure out how to push through it, bro, because... Bro, we got goals that we got to achieve, bro, and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the new year, bro. Y'all, it's, yeah. it's the end of 2020, and boy, Ross, he came to me like a month or so ago. He was like, man, hey, this podcast right here, he was like, I got to talk to the people because this is, he said that this is, uh, what you call it? You said it's the year of the fight. Yeah. You know, and man, for the, for the most part, bro, this year has been the year of the fight. This showed yeah. a lot of people true colors. Um, they grind how hard they could grind and things like that. So, man, Ross, I'm gonna just hand it over to you, bro. And so, what did you mean when you when you came to me? You were like, man, it's the year of the fight. What did you want to, you know, tell the people, bro? Listen, bro, I said, hey, 2020 taught it taught me so many things, bro. Like, I'm truly prepared for 2021. Like, man, I was just thinking mm-hmm. about all my life over this whole past year and stuff. I truly, I know how I made it, <clears throat> but I don't know how I made it. You feel me? I said, God, I said, man, you blessed us to cover on all the bills that we needed. You know what I'm saying? Because when COVID hit, it just hit, bro. And we was we was at a standstill for a minute. You know, we was close yeah, to yeah. closing on deals with the business and things like that. And we took a hard punch. You know, and then you was like, hey, bro, we still can do this. You feel me? I don't know if you remember that, but you was like, we still can do that. I'm like, man, we got to give it some time because things going to open up. So we need to be grinding you know what I'm saying? Then when things open up in May, I think it opened like around May and stuff like that within the business, we could be off to the races. You know what I'm saying? But even during that time, we still had to fight within ourselves, you know, because a lot of people was going through off the wreck, like off business out, they was going off losing their jobs. You feel me? So they had to fight on that end. They had to fight for their family. And good thing that uh, America put in places, like I said, with the bills and things like that. God put those in places for us, you know what I'm saying? But, man, it just truly taught me how to fight, bro. Like, I'm talking about within my emotions, within myself, you know what I'm saying? Because we, I went through so many ups and downs in 2020, bro. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? Of course, we didn't win in the business. Uh, we didn't win in the business, you know what I'm saying? But that hurt, but it just, it just truly inspired me. Like, 2021, yeah. if I went through 2020 like this, you know what I'm saying? I told you we are strongest in our weakness. You know what I'm saying? I had to take it to the word. I had to truly believe that, like, man, this I'm stronger in my weakness, you know what I'm saying? Because Jesus Christ is my strength, you know? So I just thank him, man, you know what I'm saying, for 2020, showing me what I really can do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And how he's here with me, how, he, how he's here with us, you know what I'm saying? Just not me, but with us, you know what I'm saying? And we just made it throughout this year, yeah. man, you know what I'm saying? So... It ends on Thursday, man, and I'm just ready for 2021, like, for real, for real, because this truly was the year of the fight, bro, because we went through a lot of storms. I mean, a bunch of storms, and it wasn't just me and you. I feel like the whole world, because the the whole world was on uh, lockdown, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? And yeah, some yeah, people, yeah, yeah. some people, they they uh, battle with addictions, they battle with uh depression and things like that, bro. And that can hurt a person when you get on lockdown. Because some people just got to get out the crib and just go. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if you if you survive this year, man, you truly can survive anything. Like for real, for real. I just feel like you can survive anything because I never lived through a true pandemic like this. This was my first pandemic. Yeah, I got yeah. the experience, and it showed me who I was. It showed me who I was in weak times. It showed me who I was. You know what I'm saying? The thing it showed me what I was doing wrong in the weak times. Uh, sometimes I wasn't faithful to the Lord. Like this, this last end of the year, mm. I haven't been studying and things like that. And I know that I need to be studying the Word because I'm so focused on the business end. Uh, he had to remind me to seek after the kingdom of God first and everything else will be added on to us. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I know 2021, if any storms may come my way, I know to seek after the kingdom of God first and I know to stay faithful during these hard times. Like for real. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> man. I got a couple, I got a couple 2021 goals that I, you know, plan on, yeah. you know, accomplishing, you know, getting through. Obviously, you know, of course, getting more into my word because, yeah. man, it's – I understand how important it is, bro. Well, not, I know I don't fully understand how important it is, but I do understand that it's important, yeah. you know, if that makes sense, bro. Yeah. Um, But, man, for me, bro, 2020, bro, it started out so beautiful, bro. Man. It started out so beautiful. Man. Like, uh, bro, we started the podcast at the beginning of the year. You know what I'm saying? And we were just, like I always say, like I always reference, we start, we looked so happy in the in the video. We didn't know what was coming. You know what I'm saying? I jumped off my job, you know, this yeah. year at the beginning of 2020. I said, man, we finna kill it in the business this year, bro. And shoot, man. And then on the podcast world, and then, you know, the pandemic hit, bro. And man, it, like you said, it slowed down the whole entire world. So, you know, for a moment I was down and I didn't even let it get to me like, you know, I went down for like months, so it was like, like probably like a month or like a couple of weeks or whatever. But after that, you know, like I was telling you, bro, man, we just gotta grind. We gotta keep grinding. And as I seen everything getting shut down, I'm like, man, this is the perfect time, you know, for us on on the podcast end. You know what I'm saying? To inspire people, mm -hmm. to motivate the people that's just stuck quarantined up. And man, I just, bro, I just realized during during this quarantine, bro. COVID and it, you know we're still in COVID you know it ain't like it's over I wish it was over yeah. but it's like bro man we we really figured out who gonna grind you know what I'm saying and who not gonna grind you know what I'm saying because like you were saying earlier bro some people they just gotta get outside the crib yeah. you know what I'm saying and I feel like bro man <clears throat> right now this year especially when when we couldn't do anything when they had everything closed but like this was a time people were supposed to be working on themselves supposed to be working on themselves if they had businesses supposed to be working on them businesses, but you seen, I know you probably, I know I seen, I seen people personally that had businesses during COVID and they, they just treated it like they didn't have all the time in the world. I'm like, bro, you have nothing else to do but to work on your business. So man, this really show who gonna actually grind and who, who really the dreamers and who really the doers. You know what I'm saying? I seen, bro, Ross, I seen so many people just waste their free time, bro. And then, you know, when they began to open stuff up, people immediately was going back to was going back to clubs, going back to bars. I'm like, bro, like, man, it, it just got me thinking, bro, like, man, like, I really value my life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I value, you know, my my, my parents, you know what I'm saying, catch COVID and then bring it back to the to the crib or whatever. But it was just like, man, like, I, I, really, I really could understand, like, my discipline, you know what I'm saying, within this whole COVID situation. So I, I understand how disciplined I am. You know what I'm saying? I can... Bro, like I was telling you last podcast, as far as like buying stuff, man, I ain't bought nothing all year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For myself, it's always been for like other people, whether it was like food or something. Um, but it's like, I understand how disciplined I am. Another thing I realized, and I was thinking about this the other day, procrastination. Yeah. Procrastination is what, what is, it was one of my weaknesses this year. And I was like, man, procrastination kills, bro. So mm. I was just like, man, I, you know, and I went on different breaks where I'm like, man, I'm, I'm going to uh, stop social media. All right, I'm gonna limit myself on social media. I'm gonna stop social media. I'm gonna limit myself on social media because, bro, social media is what's been eating me up, bro. And I was looking at my uh my usage yesterday, and it it wasn't that I was on there for I was on there for it was like less than an hour within the whole day, but I was still like, man, just it, I think it was like forty something minutes or fifty some minutes total that I was on like all the social media apps. And I was like, bro, I'm still I'm just wasting too much time because I noticed as far as procrastination when you start procrastinating, bro. Like, 
for me, it'd be hard to get out of that procrastination. Once I start procrastinating, it's like I got to get like a, a big old push in order to get out of that procrastination, bro. So like, it's like, one, I already know if I start procrastinating, bro, my whole day's going to be ruined, bro. So I got to I gotta learn how to work on, you know, procrastinating, just stopping it, bro. Like talking earlier, I got to come up with systems within my life. You know what I'm saying? In order to take it to that next level for 2021. Cause you know, we both got goals for 2021, bro. And I really, it hurt me every time that I never, not that I never, but it hurt me whenever I don't achieve um those goals that I set for myself, bro. So I'm saying, man, 2021, COVID, no COVID. I don't care what it is, bro. I'm getting, I'm reaching my goals in 2021, bro. And I don't know, bro. I'm just, I'm just gonna grind. 2020 taught me that I am a grinder. You know what I'm saying? I but I, like I said, discipline, bro. Discipline was very important for me, bro. So, man, 2020, bro, it, overall, bro, it was it was challenging. You know what I'm saying? It was different, unexpected. But, man, it, it, it showed me a lot about myself. And I'm just ready to take it to the next level of 2021, bro. Nah, real talk. I feel like that's important, bro. Like, if 2020 didn't show you about yourself, you really wasn't looking at yourself. You overlooked yourself because, hey, it showed so many weaknesses. Like I said, I'm just speaking on me. It showed me my weakness and it showed me my strength. You know what I'm saying? And uh, man, I feel like it's so important that we self assess on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Because like you said, we had so much yeah. downtime. Not in just we can be working on our business, but we could be working on our lives. You know what I'm saying? You know, at the beginning of the year, I had these things written down. I showed you. I like, man, this is what I do every day. You know what I'm saying? When I study and read, and then when I self assess, I like, hey, this person say I do these things. This person said, I do these things. I need to change this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like that's, that's such an important role that we need to do as humans. You know what I'm saying? But especially like for 2021, bro, like, man, I'm 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 operating pro- like in two or three roles in 2021, man. I'm truly just, uh, but before I even go down that route, man, I was looking at my goals list for 2020, you know, and I just said, man, Lord, I didn't accomplish not one of them. You know what I'm saying? And to me, I feel like a failure, you know. Uh, but I promise you, we grind for it. But I, all I did was I just prayed and I put it uh, on for my 2021 goals. And I just told yeah. myself I'm going to be the hardest working man in 2021. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to truly value my time in 2021 uh, like I did this year. But like I said, it was up and down. It was sometimes I didn't value my time correctly. Like I said, with that procrastination role, you know what I'm saying? Plus the system roles that we talked about. Uh, but 2021, man, I'm truly going to operate in obedience unto God. You know what I'm saying? And uh, live a healthy lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With my food. I want a healthy relationship. And uh, truly serve others. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm truly going to serve more than what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I'm, I'm really pumped for 2021. Like, again, 2020 was the year of the fight. And I promise you, everybody in this world had to fight. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's just a blessing just to be alive. I look at my life and how how good God has been because, man, you know, I didn't catch COVID-19. And I pray God that I don't never catch COVID-19. You know what I'm saying? Because during when the pandemic was like first hit, you know, I had actually went into the warehouse. uh, You know what I'm saying? When it first hit. And uh, I was working out there when it was bad, it's still bad out here in Texas. Yeah. I'm talking about, I was still working and the Lord provided things, you know what I'm saying? And I never catch COVID. You know, I just thank him for that, man. Cause we lost a lot of soldiers, bro. <clears throat> we yeah, lost we a lot yeah. of people in 2020, man. And uh, man, it, it's been a tough year for us, but I just believe that 2021 is going to be a breakthrough year for us. And I'm claiming, it. you know what I'm saying? I'm claiming, I'm going to 2021 full of faith. You know what I'm saying? And even 2020, it tested our faith. <laughs> yeah. But man, it was, yeah. it was just so much, man, that we have went through in 2020, man. And uh, I just want to encourage the people, even if you didn't accomplish your goals, you got next year and you're not the only one. I'm one person that didn't accomplish none of my goals in 2020. Like the big goals that I set up for myself. But the people that's listening, listen, you're not the only person. You're not a bad person. Don't be down on yourself. Just get back to it in 2021, for real, for real, man. Let's just get to it and be the hardest working person that you can be. All I ask myself and I require, just do what you can. Just do what you can. You know what I'm saying? If you just know that you wake up every day and leave it on that battlefield, 
that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's nothing else that you can't do. So you need to hold yourself, people who listening to that standard. You know what I'm saying? Like just fight every day. And every day I'm going to fight. Every day, like I said, I'm going to use my time wisely. And uh, I'm going to fight that sleepiness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to be tired after the part-time joints. You know what I'm saying? But we got to fight through because, man, it's just bigger than just us. Uh, I don't know what you're fighting for, but I know me and Doug, we fight for our family. And uh, we love them so much, and we ready to put everything on the line. So it was a lot of blood. It was a lot of sweat. Mm -hmm. It was a bunch of tears this year, man. Like, for real. Ooh, yeah, I know I know people, uh, since we're men, we don't speak on the tears. You know what I'm saying? But, man, I cried this year. You know what I'm saying? I was by my side, and, man, I, I was crying so much. I told the Lord, you got to come sit with me. I said, Jesus, come sit with me. You know what I'm saying? And he was there. He was there. Dang, when he came, man, he always been here. And uh, I just prayed for strength. You know what I'm saying? Just to make, because he know my heart. He know both of our hearts. You know what I'm saying? He know what who we doing it for. And it's just so much bigger than us. And uh, I'm willing to fight it another year. I, I told the Lord, I said, we don't get it next year. I said, I'm willing to fight the year after that. If we don't get it there, I said, Lord, I'm willing to fight the year after that as well. I ain't going to quit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'd rather just keep getting it. Because I know we fighting for a bigger purpose, man. So I'm ready, man. I'm ready to go. This was the year of the fight. And let's not quit fighting in 2021. <clears throat> let's keep yeah, on fighting. Yeah. We know we can get through this. We know we can. You know my favorite one. We can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthened us, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. We're going to get through it. Yeah. Hey, bigger dream listeners, we're going to get through this together. You know what I'm saying? You can do this. You got this. 2021, you go after them now. 2020, it came after us. 2021, we coming after them. You know what I'm saying? We're coming yeah. after everything that we that we want. You know what I'm saying? That, that yeah. COVID, it came and swiped us out. Came and wiped us out, baby. You know what I'm saying? But man, hey, let's just continue to be safe, though. Let's, let's move in wisdom and uh, not out of self, man. Because like you said, these people, they still, they were ready to go to these clubs and things like that. They wouldn't move. They wouldn't be unwise. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it's bigger than just that. But we already touched on that yeah. in the uh, recent podcast and things like that. But man, yeah, 2020 <clears throat> was definitely a year to fight, man. <clears throat> bro 2020 was so challenging man yeah. it was and i ain't even just trying to sound all depressed about it or just down mm -hmm. about it but it's just i mean obviously you know it was a down time period for for everybody mm -hmm. um but man like really bro like i am truly blessed to like you said have not caught covid yeah. you know what i'm saying during 2020 and just you know staying safe and man i, I really how, bro how long do you think how long you think it's gonna you you think it's gonna well I know they got the vaccine joint coming out. You know what I'm saying? People taking the vaccine and things like that. But how long do you think this is going to be the normal, bro? Man, I, like I said, I really don't know. It's all in, you know what I'm saying? It's all in my father's hands, man. It's all in God's hands. He, he, Whenever he's ready for this thing to go. <clears throat> but I know yeah, we yeah. need to be seeking him <clears throat> during this time, you know. Uh, like yeah, I said, right. uh, when Jesus do return, I know people in the podcast, they don't even speak on these things. And here we keep it real because we truly want to help you. Like, this helps you. You know what I'm saying? When Jesus do return, he going to flash 2020 in your life and say, oh, you ain't plenty of time to seek my face. <laughs> you feel me? You ain't plenty of time to acknowledge me. We had plenty of times because, again, God is not concerned. He is concerned, but he's more concerned of our souls than what we have going in this earthly things, man. So. I don't know how long this bug gonna be, but yeah. hey, I, mean, I know we fought through 2020. We can go 2021, 2022, however long it is. Yeah, man, it ain't even just about the COVID now, bro. It's just like, man, I grind, bro. We we yeah. we did take it to a whole nother level this year, man, bro. With the ups and downs, jobs, no jobs, all that stuff, bro. We 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 took it to a whole nother level, bro. And um, I don't know, bro. I just 2021, man, like goals that I set for myself, bro, I really do want to accomplish them. So, oh, for sure. man, I just, I just, bro, I, I know I got to step my game up. I got to yeah. go harder because I look at these other people who made it and they were like, man, yeah, um, I had a full time job. Then after my job, I would put in the work for my, my yeah. side business. Now my side business, my, my full time job now. And it's like, bro, like I now with a part time, but man, that sleep. Since I work overnights, bro, that sleep, it'll, it'll mess me up. And I ain't even trying to make excuses like in 2021 regarding sleep. Because I think I we, we was on the phone today or something. I was like, yeah, man, that, 
jobs, they you know how they be doing, making you all tired during the day and things like that. Mm. And it's like, I got to learn how to fight through that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Stop making that excuse, bro. Because, man, that bed, that bed be looking, it be, it be looking so good when you be over, yes, there, over trying to work and things like that. But I just got to, man, just keep my, my focus, my head on right. Like you said, we doing it for the family. That what keeps me going, man. I know sometimes when I am about to lay back in the bed, I just start thinking about the family or I just start think about whatever and then I just keep going for a little bit and I'll be like all right bro I'm gonna take me like a 30 minute nap or something yeah. like that but it never worked out to be a 30 <laughs> minute nap but um man bro 2021 I just want to be on the offensive end of everything bro mm. I want to be the person that's you know making moves I want to I want to really you know reach out to the bigger dream family and like I always say show them the ropes on you know different avenues different things that we did in order to get to that next level bro so I just can't wait man you already know season two uh, we've been talking about it, how it's gonna be. We're gonna be blessing people on season two, man. We're gonna mm-hmm. be helping helping people out on another level, and that's just what I can't wait to get to. I can't wait to help out the people. Can't wait to help out us. Can't wait to help out our family. But I just can't. I just cannot wait for that, man. And it ain't just on no money thing. It just I just really enjoy, you know, helping people. I, I really enjoy helping people, man. And this year, man, it not showed me a lot, bro. Like I know, um, <clears throat> a couple podcasts ago, you was like, um. Well, I think you said this in a lot of podcasts. You were like, yeah, I'm broke. I, I've been broke. I know how to be, you know what I'm saying, good without money. And that stuff happened to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, bro, I ain't never just been broke. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But a couple things happened and hey, it, everything went left. And now it's like, bro, like I got to learn how to adjust, you know what I'm saying, and live like, I don't know, like, I don't just not, not be comfortable with it because I'm not comfortable with being broke at all. But it's like, the things that I have to, you know, put my money towards and, you know, this and that. And now that I'm broke, it's like, bro, like, I need to learn how to, I don't know, just get get to that next level, bro. So, but I'm just excited, bro. I'm, I'm just excited for everything, bro. And 2020, like I said a couple of podcasts ago, bro, 2020 is going to be my best year. I mean, it's going to be our best year. It's going to be our business best year, our other business best year. It's going to be just a, a great year, bro. And, you know, me, <clears throat> me and you, bro, we really do need to, step I, like I've been telling you like we really do need to step our game up and we need to really put our foot on each other's necks and actually push each other harder like we need to I know at one point we was doing well we doing like weekly calls or we we, we either talked about we gonna do like weekly calls or things like that but we really need to just like we said earlier set up systems like weekly bro we gotta do this daily we gotta do this and not just actually talk about it we actually gotta do it bro so man I'm just ready to push each other 2021 because man we all we got yeah. And, you know, if we don't do it, bro, I, like we always say, our family, they, they ain't going to do it. And we want to take our family to the next level, bro. So I just encourage, I encourage you, bro, to push me because I'm going to push you 2021, bro. And, man, we just got to get it, bro. We got to get it. We got to grind, man, because I'm, I'm tired of being on the defensive end. I'm tired of seeing, well, I'm not tired of seeing everybody else be blessed. Yeah. It's like, man. When my turn gonna come, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, I'll be like, man, I'm putting in all this work. Like, when is our time gonna come, man? So, um, I'm just ready to be on that side of the grind, uh, 2021, because 2020 we not grinded so hard. Every each year since since we started our business in 2018, I grind. We not took our grind from another level to another level to another level, and we not grown as men in another level, another level, another level. So, man, I'm just excited to see what 2021 bring me, bro. I know, um, aside for the business side, like, <clears throat> just me, like I said, as being a man, I know I'm going to be a better man 2021. And I've seen a lot of things that I messed up in in 2020. And it's like, bro, like, I just, I love the growth. You know what I'm saying? I love the growth. I'm just, I'm growing in a whole bunch of different areas, bro. Um, and y'all, <clears throat> I'm getting my... I'm, I'm I'm back in the gym now, so yes, sir. Kids, I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back with that, bro. So, man, I'm just ready, bro. I'm I'm just ready, dog. So, 2021, man, I'm grinding. We're gonna push each other. Um, I just want to encourage everybody that's out there that's listening, man. Grind 2021. If you didn't um be able, if you weren't able to grind to your fullest potential in 2020, man, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. You can start your grind today. You can start it tomorrow. But I just hate the people that's gonna um have their New Year's resolutions. And they just going to grind for that first month or so, and then they going to give up. So, man, I just encourage everybody, man, 2021, it's the year of grind, bro. It's the year of grind. Right. Hey, man, 2021 is the year of breakthrough for the bigger dream, the year of mm-hmm. breakthrough. through the. Uh, I'm speaking it now through both of our businesses. It's the year of the breakthrough through our family. And for the people that's listening, it's the year of the breakthrough for your life. You better claim mm-hmm. it in Jesus' name right now. You better accept <clears throat> it. 
and you better hold on to it and you better put some faith in you, baby. If you ain't got no faith, ask Jesus Christ to increase your faith. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be the year to break through. If you were sad, you're going to be happy in 2021. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, and then if, if bad times do come, you learned in 2020. So now you know what to do during those hard times in 2021. You know what I'm saying? Because we act like we ain't been through suffering before, but this right here was a type of different. This was different here, you know what I'm saying? But 2021, you better just apply those, what you have learned in 2020, doing your downtime and things into your life in 2021 when those hard times do come. So, man, for sure. 2021 is looking good for us, man, for real. Oh, and like yeah, I said, yeah, I flew up to six because it was 600 seeds planted uh, within the business. You know what I'm saying? We, I told y'all yeah. we, we lost 600. We took 600 eggs. But we look at we look yeah. at it as seeds. You know, we just planted those seeds and when the right time comes, you know what I'm saying? We will reap the yeah. harvest. The season have to change. Seasons got to change. But yeah. I feel you, Which, I, 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 elaborate on that for us, bro. The, the seasons have to change, man. Because I, I understand what you're talking about, but I don't know if the people will understand what you're talking about. What you mean by that, bro? It's like we got summer, fall, spring, you know what I'm saying? Winter. Your seeds have to change in your life. Man, the Bible the Bible tell you that we're going to suffer. That's, that's, that's all real. We're going to suffer. People be forgetting that. You know what I'm saying? Us Christians, hey, we're going to suffer. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have good times. You're going to have bad times. You're gonna have, it's a time to cry. It's a time to laugh. You know what I'm saying? These things are going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I mean your season is going to change. If you, if you think if you think you're a fool if you think it's going to be bad all the time in your life. You know what I'm saying? Just hold and on. That's how some people. Right. Mm, right. I'm you, just saying that's just how some. They, that's on. how they feel. Right, and they do yeah, feel like yeah. that. Forgive me for calling you a fool. You know what I'm saying? Forgive me for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but you truly got to hold on because I seen boys lose. I seen people give up. Like I said, we talked about this. They didn't hold up. They truly, they let go. You know, and it could have been their break point. It could have been their breakthrough point. And you, man, you know how terrible. It, it, the bad thing about it, you don't know when your breakthrough is coming. That's why it's called a breakthrough. If you never yeah. hold on, you would, you would never get to that breakthrough. And you know how sad it is just to see somebody let go. And that breakthrough could have been that next day. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. Could've, it could have been that next hour. Yeah, of course. It could have been that next minute. Mm. And you you decided to let go at that time. Man. So that's why, man, though, we can't let go because it's, it's just so much bigger than just us. We let go of our family if we do that. We let go of the bigger dream if we do that. We talk so much. We tell you everything that we do. If we don't back it up, how can we say that we've kept it real on this podcast? You feel me? So we can't give up. So, yeah. man, please, people, just hold on. <clears throat> Keep the faith. You know what I'm saying? Your season will change. Your breakthrough is coming. You just got to believe it. And you just got to fight that mind. That's the toughest one. This is the toughest battle here. Because the enemy going to tell you that you're not going to make it. The enemy going to tell you that you're a failure in your life. The enemy going to tell you that it can't be done. But the devil is a liar. Don't you ever forget that. You know what I'm saying? So you can do this. You can truly do this. It be the ones that you're around telling you that, I, I don't think it's going to happen. If it didn't happen this year, get from around them. Change up your circle 2021. You heard Doug. He said, we're going to turn up. I listen. I didn't say nothing. I heard what he said. He said, hey, we got to turn it up 2020. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. So you need people around you that's going to, who you can listen to. <clears throat> if you can listen to them, you can be around them because they're going to give you some wisdom. And you need to walk people with wisdom, man. Like for real, for real. Don't be hanging with nobody that's going to tell you that you can't, you can't. I, I don't want to hear that word. <laughs> man, I was with my partner earlier, man. I told him, I said, listen, bro, I don't even want to talk to nobody uh, next year, man. I don't even want to talk to nobody. I'm tired of, I'm tired of encouraging the people. You know what I'm saying? The people that ain't really about it. I, I, I want to rob yeah. people that's, that's truly about it, that's going to talk and put some action on it that same day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Going to hit me up tomorrow. Yeah. Like, hey, I look this up. We can do this, that. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of doing that, man. You feel me? Like I said, we talk that's, about that. That was how people, I, yeah. Hey, we talk about wasted time, but like for real, man. Like seriously, this, our life is serious. This is nothing to play with. We only got one yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? I, I truly believe we choose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We choose what we want to do. And I know what life I'm choosing. I yeah. told, I tell God this. I said, Lord, I'm going to live like a king here on earth and a king in heaven. 
You know what I'm saying? They don't have yeah. nothing to be with yeah, I know you you know, money that. stuff and nothing like that, man. I truly love people, bro. Like I truly love going on this podcast and inspiring people. No, we might we might not be the best at it right now, but we're learning and we're growing and y'all watching us grow. And I'm telling you, each season we just gonna get better and better. And man, I just this is just truly what we love to do. Doug, I mean, we was doing it, but Doug just wanted to take it to a bigger platform. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Doug said, hey. Let's take it to the, to the podcast. And I'm like, what? And then next thing you know, Doug came to the crib, just had all, all this stuff. I mean, he went to go pick it all up and everything, had it all shipped to him in one day. I'm like, bro, didn't know how to work none of it. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. man, this is truly what, what I love to do, man. I love to serve people. Like I said, man, my, my ministry is the poor. You feel me, man? I got so much love for them, bro. You know what I'm saying? My ministry is also the people that, that uh have low discouragement in their lives. You know what I'm saying? I like yeah. to encourage them too, but Man, that's just what I'm all about. You know what I'm saying? That's this is what we do. This yeah. is what we do, man. Y'all continue to rock with us and y'all continue to be inspired. And you just remember that you can get through these times. You can get through anything. I promise you. Just stay faithful, man. I'm telling you, stay faithful. That's what I'm doing 2021. And I'm also gonna master the uh the art of uh man, what I was talking about. Oh, I'm gonna master the art of just being calm at all times, man. I'm gonna master that in 2020 when I tell the Lord I wanna I wanna master the heart, the uh, man slow the anger that's what it is mm. yeah because mm. I'm already I'm, I feel like I'm good but I just wanna master it. like man whatever have hit me I just wanna be calm about like, okay you know somebody yeah. say something crazy okay <laughs> you cut me yeah. off that's fine <laughs> you know what I'm saying man you human so I'm gonna just let human be humans 2021 man but I promise you. I promise we ain't just talking. They gonna see 2021, man. We're gonna man, you, bro, you 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 really getting me 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 pumped up and excited over here, bro. Like, bro, I you, you getting me pumped and, and people that's out here listening, that's watching this on YouTube, man. I hope y'all getting <clears throat> pumped as well, man. As you was talking, bro, I'm just thinking about self growth, bro. Like, you know how how much self growth we not put into each other this year, bro. Like. Man, I know you're not growing in a lot of areas this year, man. And you still talking about how you want to work on areas, man. I remember uh, one of the podcasts, we was talking about like the level that you on um, just with your life. And, you know, and we was talking about how people, they haven't even got to your level yet. And at that time, you was like, I want to keep going to another level. I don't know if you remember that podcast, but it's like, <clears throat> man, that's all we own, man. We, we trying to grow in every single area. I know we ain't said in a, in a minute, but 100% in all areas. Is man, it? I know what, we ain't said that in the search drop episode two, season two, man. Search drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, man, like y'all, we really, we really want to be a hundred percent um in our areas in life. We really want you guys to actually take that in and be a hundred percent in each area of your life as well. And man, that that's just so important. Like I, I value in that that five areas that we talk about, bro. Like I value all of them. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be great in every single one of them. And it's some that's higher than others. But at the end of the day, bro, like I already know that I'm going to be working on each and every one of them, man. So, man, just self-growth, bro. Um, 2021, man, we're going to get blessed, bro. We're going to get blessed, man. We Our season going to change. Um, and I'm hoping I'm hoping to be 2021, bro. I'm hoping our season yes, change sir. 2021, yes, man, because, man, we're not grinding. Yeah. Um, and, and what you were saying as far as, um, you know, me coming to you with the podcast, man, y'all, me and Ross, this ain't something we just started a year ago. Um. Like, no, literally, like, me and Ross, we have, we was having deep conversations before the podcast. We would just sit, we will be working on our business, and we will just sit in the room all night. We will just be not even working. But, <laughs> boy, Doug had to have the music playing, though. Remember, I told him I got to tell the people, Doug used to have to have this music playing, bro. <laughs> it's this I jazz no time. on YouTube. But, man, like, me and Ross, we will get together and supposed to be doing work. We'll be working here and there, but we'll just get off topic talking about and really all of our topics, um, conversation would revolve around our family. Like, what are we going to do this for the family? How are we going to do this for the family? And it'll just be hours long. And sometimes I'll sneak and record our conversations. And then I'll yeah, send it back to Ross. <laughs> and it's like, man, y'all, we actually, we, we've been doing this. So this ain't nothing that we just started a year ago. I was just like, man, we be having some gems. Ross, he be dropping a lot of gems. And I'm like, man, let's get this out to the people. And, you know, we got it out to you guys. And a lot, we've been having, this year we not had some great, um, feedback, you know what I'm saying, man. We got, um, I believe right now it's like 111 subscribers on YouTube. Um, 
on uh on our other podcast and sites. We've been getting a lot of uh, downloads and listeners and things like that. So man, I'm truly grateful just to be step well to have stepped out into another um area. You know, something that I never thought that I'd be doing this quickly. I thought that we was gonna. I always want to do this once we made it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I was like, man, forget it. Let's go on. It. Let's just hop into yeah. it right now. Yeah. And it, and it, and it just got me thinking about what you were saying. Like, I don't know nobody else that's in the middle of their storms right now. And, and they're encouraging, motivating people while they haven't made it yet either. Like, I, I, I'm i like, bro, I haven't, I don't know who would do that. I don't follow too many people on YouTube, but I doubt there's a lot of people that's still in the storm motivating people. Because first of all, people, they don't even motivate, not even a, t- a topic that people even like to, that's just like super popular anyways, you know what I'm saying? So, man, just to be a part of something that we can look back on and be like, man, those emotions in that episode, those was real. Like, yeah. man, like we really out here, bro, the, like Rob was saying, y'all, the blood, the sweat and tears, man, it's all real. It's all authentic. And uh, we just here to encourage you guys to, you know, just keep going, you know, keep pushing, keep fighting, you know, always keep grinding. Um, as Ross would say, man, keep God first, you know what I'm saying? And, um, man, just strive to be that hundred percent in every single area of your life, because you're going to benefit the people around you going to benefit. And I just can't wait to be just that blessing to other people. Me and Ross were already blessings to people right now, but it's like, man, I just want to bless people in multiple areas, different things. Um, I want to be able to teach people different things. Um, I just want to be able to encourage people, bro. Like, and I love what we're doing, man. I love that we're able to encourage people, bro. Um, so man, all in all, bro, 2020 was just a, a a year that I can just self-reflect on everything and just figure out, you know, different um, man, we got different pieces of information that's gonna help us out tremendously in 2021. Uh man, I'm just I'm just forever thankful, man, for the um the people that we was introduced to, Secret to Success, man. Shout out to them. I know we wasn't introduced to them in 2020, yeah. um, but it's like they put out some valuable things in 2020 that help like all right bet we we definitely gonna take this to the next level so man everybody out here listening man we already know 2020 was tough it was tough and it's still tough it ain't it, we ain't out of everything yet but man we just encourage you guys to keep going and always be the best person be the best version of yourself man so Ross you got anything else for him bro man I mean I love y'all man for real for real man remember you can do all things through Jesus Christ and remember Jesus Christ is king, man, for real, for real. Let's end 2020 on a good note. Let's go into the year of 2021, you know what I'm saying, just grinding. Uh, I'm putting away a lot of things in 2021. I'm not going to speak on all the things. I'm going to just let y'all see for yourself. Uh, when the time come, you it'll be on season Ooh. two, so you know what I'm saying? So I always try to keep secrets. Man, <laughs> hey, I got to do less talking on it and more action, you feel me? So. I know yeah, yeah. there gotta be less talk and more action than 2021. So man, I'm I'm truly ready. You know, I'm ready for all the emotions. You know, what what's so big, man, people don't even understand to come on and do a podcast after what we face every day. You know, if it's within ourselves, our self-emotions, or within the business, we still have time to truly encourage people and put that aside for that one hour, 30 yeah. minutes, whatever we give the people. And they truly go hard and come from the heart. Because again, man, I promise you, we don't even do this for views and nothing, man. We just truly just put this content out just to truly inspire the world, you know. And we just, that's just what we do. I promise you, we truly love doing this. We're not doing this for no money, anything like that. And, uh, but whoever is in this uh, league that we in, there's no we coming. <laughs> don't you ever get it twisted. There's no the bigger dream yeah, is yeah. coming. And, you know, we're going, we will be the number one podcast. Thanks. Uh, in the future, you know what I'm saying? So I know we got 111 uh, subscribers, and I just want to put this out there. Let's go for a thousand next year. Let's truly just, just grind, you know what I'm saying, more Let's for the it. podcast. And uh, we're just going to put out some more good content for the people, man. Just truly, you know what I'm saying? It's a different life that you can live outside of being a basketball player. We don't play sports no more, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's other ways that you can get <clears throat> income. And uh, that's, it. that's it. We're going to bring it all out for you, man. So just remember, you got this. You just keep going. Continue to fight. Yeah. Don't stop fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, it's the end of the year. 2021 coming. You said what? It's going to be, uh, we got to what, Thursday? Yes, sir. I believe so. You said about Thursday? Yes, sir. Man, 2021. 
All right, man. Hey, so <clears throat> Ross, he said we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna reach we're gonna reach for a thousand. You know, subscribe. So Friday is January first. So you um, yeah, don't that. Okay. All right, man. We're going for a thousand subscribers in 2021, y'all. Um, we got other goals that we plan on accomplishing. You know, for our business and for our personal lives and things like that. So <clears throat> I encourage you guys to you know write down all your goals that you have for 2021 and really and truly go after them every single day. And like me and Ross was saying, man, go after these things with a sense of urgency. And Ross, what I figured out, bro, with us, you know, especially for me, um, you know, when we come up with an idea and I'm just immediately like, let's do it. You know, I know I don't do that with the money. Whenever you talk about spending oh. money, I don't be like, let's do it. Hey, <laughs> I'm ready to go right there in the air, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. But, like what I what I figured, what I figured out and what I love about us, you guys, is you know, whenever we have a goal or whatever, and I want you guys to be like this as well. Be go at it with a sense of sense of urgency because you never know when it's your last day. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You never know when it's your last day, and it's like we are urgent about these things because we're like we want to not go on and get them. Of course, we want to go on and get them, but it's like we want to reach this goal so we can hear up and help these people out because we never know when. I always talk about that. You know, I I have too much to lose. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, I would hate to you know lose family members in the process or. I lose my, I get caught with COVID or just whatever. Yeah. I was like, bro, I want to go on and I want to hurry up and get straight to it. So I just encourage you guys to, whatever you got, whatever goals you got accomplished, don't don't wait a week, don't wait a month, don't be like, all right, I get to it next week, I get to it next month. No, get to it right now, right this instant, because it's so important to be um, urgent with your goals. Because man, a week from now, a month from now, you gonna forget about it. And then it's just going to, time is going to keep passing you guys by. So please be urgent with your goals. Be urgent with whatever situation you're trying to get out of, y'all. Please be urgent with it to get out of that situation. Because I cannot wait to get out the situation that I'm in right now. I can't wait to get to that next level. That's why I'm like, I'm so urgent with every single thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm so urgent with this. I'm so urgent with that. And it's so important. So urgency is very important. I want you guys to take that into 2021. Be urgent with every single goal that you put in place. Because if you're not, then the time gonna slip by, man. So, um, <clears throat> Ross, you got anything else before I uh, cut it, bro? Yeah, man. All right, y'all. So, you know, before we get out of it, man, it's been it's been a tremendous year. Um, uh, Ross, he got the LWM shirt on. Out to them boys. Uh, love waste management, the best trash valet service in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Like I always say, you got your trash valet service isn't good. Notify um, the front office. Tell them, hey, I, I know a, a good, a valuable, a, a great trash valet service. Uh, love, love Waste Management. Go to their website, lovewastemgmt.com. Instagram, Love Waste Management. Um, and y'all, shout out to um, all our boosts, all our listeners this year. And we truly, we love y'all. It's been an amazing year. It's been a crazy year. It's been a fun year. Man, I'm just blessed to see people actually interacting with us on our YouTube and things like that, man. I, I just love to help people. Ross, he love to help people. So, uh, man, we just we just pray that we have a, a great year next year, that you guys have a great, next, great year next year. And, um, man, we're just going to take it to the next level next year, bro. I'm excited, Ross. Yeah. I'm excited. So, um, you guys, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I hope you enjoyed all our podcasts for 2020. This will be the last podcast for 2020 i hope you guys stay safe new year's eve like i would tell you don't drink and drive stay at home um turn over with your fam or whatever man but please be safe y'all but uh truly we want to see everybody in 2021 for real for real so y'all be safe this weekend so um and if that's everything i hope y'all enjoyed us for 2020 and we'll see y'all next year